Hi, I'm your host, Christian Cristiano. Welcome to Wellness for Realists, where we help you live a healthier, more satisfying life. At this point, everyone has heard the term superfood. And while there is no official definition of a superfood, it is basically a nutrient-rich food considered to be especially beneficial for your health and well-being. It is quite possible that superfoods may even help to reduce medical conditions like diabetes and high cholesterol. They do this by offering nutritional value and filling a much-needed gap in the dietary puzzle. They supply specific nutrients in high amounts. There is a wide array of superfoods, with more foods occasionally being added to the list. Foods like dark chocolate, green tea, and quinoa are among the more popular superfoods. And then we have some less exotic ones, like lentils and spinach. And of course, we have to mention the Brazilian-based acai, which took the U.S. by storm a few years back. What superfoods have in common is that they are powerful sources of antioxidants, enzymes, amino acids, and other nutrients. Superfoods come from all over the world, including Central and South America, Europe, and even right here in the USA. Some superfoods have a history of up to 5,000 years and are linked to the Mayans as well as other indigenous tribes in the world. But it was not until fairly recently that they have become popular and available to the general public in the United States. Americans are finally realizing the enormous benefit from combining superfoods with an already nutritious diet and exercise plan. Now it's time to take a deeper look at superfoods. For more Wellness for Realists, be sure to subscribe to us at EmpowerMe.tv. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and you can find me at AcupuncturebyChristian.com. Thank you.